kindly sit down. Salamat po sa e-courtesy. I will read my prepared speech. Uh, kaawa naman yung gumawa nito. But you know, it's uh, just a two-page, almost like a greeting. But if you will allow me, I will just add my, well, the sentiments of the day para we are kept posted on what we intend to do in government. Excellencies of the Diplomatic Corps, Transportation Secretary Arthur Togadi and the other members of the Cabinet, AFP Chief of Staff General Carlito Galvez, Philippine Coast Guard Commandant Admiral Elson Hermohino, uh, officials, enlisted personnel, and the 2018 awardees of the Philippine Coast Guard, all their distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to join you today as we celebrate the many accomplishments of the Philippine Coast Guard in the past 117 years. The agency is more than a century of service for the Filipino people and has indeed been fruitful and is worthy of recognition. I congratulate the PCG for its achievements, which have led to the institution's greater participation in our collective task of nation building. The fulfillment of your mandate to enforce maritime law, protect our maritime environment, and secure our maritime territories has contributed greatly in keeping our people safe from the dangers that may come at sea. I am glad that the reforms that we have instituted since 2016 are now bearing fruit. The PG, PCG's acquisition of new weapons, equipment, and several multi-purpose response vehicles and fast patrol boats that are completed modern computerized system has indeed helped enhance our law enforcement capabilities. Evidently, the success of the PCG would not have been possible without the contributions of its officers, its enlisted men, their personal achievements, which have pushed for developments that are crucial in making the agency more efficient and responsive to the challenges of the times and to the demands of our citizens. To the awardees, this administration acknowledges your exemplary work in PCG. May you remain committed in performing our responsibilities as defenders of the land and protectors of our citizens. Please know that all your sacrifices are truly and greatly appreciated. I urge the entire Philippine Coast Guard to build on its accomplishments and to continue its efforts in upholding our country's maritime security. More than ever, we need brave men and women like you in safeguarding our seas and shores, especially at this period when our resources are becoming crucial to the progress of our economy. Rest assured that while you had the call for, of duty, the government remains steadfast in strengthening the capabilities of the PCG by raising its standards and streamlined infrastructures and modernized equipment. May these accomplishments that you celebrate today inspire everyone to work harder for the common good. Take this day as an opportunity to seek encouragement from your fellow troops as you advance the causes of PCG. 
let us move and act further to empower the men and women of the Coast Guard and enhance the agency's services to benefit the Filipino people. Again, happy anniversary and receive and I convey to you the gratitude of a grateful nation. Mabuhay kayong lahat. Now for the General Apenia will move to TESDA. Uh, I will promote you to a cabinet member position. That's a... General Jagger Guerrero, you are to move to the Bureau of Customs. Saan po kayo? Alam ko ayaw ninyong umalis sa Marina. Walang marina dyan na babae, puro barko yan at bakal. Is Jagger here? I know that uh, you are uh, reluctant to... I know that you are happy there and you are contented. So I've heard. But the demands of public service and the need for honest men requires your presence there. Good luck. I will look for your replacement. Sino ba mang retire dito na Navy na yung hindi bilangga yung barko niya noon? But if there is one, uh, then I'm sorry. If you mishandle even a little bit uh, our ships. I will look for the marina also coming from the, the Navy or Sino lang ang pinakamahusay. Maybe we'll report next week for the... I'm handing out your uh, appointments and your autobiography. Madali uh, lang yan. Patayin mo yan mga putang ina. Hindi mo madala sa istorya. Ihulog mo dyan sa... And there will be some minor rebounds downstairs. Gintay lang ako. Rolly is, I think, happy with the DSWD. Yun lang ang maano ko. But you know, I said it might be a redundant thing almost to. Baka ayaw maniwala. Nobody would believe us because we utter it every day. But if there's anything that would like to leave something, I mean just a little bit, it would be to, we cannot stop it actually. But we can reduce it to the barest minimum. So, see the yung trabaho ng TESDA, it's quite uh, something of a it could be messy at times. But I'm sure uh, your training as a military man, just like Drager, would augur well for the country. And that's the reason why I said time and again, I have nothing against the bureaucracy. Pero pag gusto mong, if you want something done, and done fast, per your order, you get a military man. And if there are some misgivings about uh, any orders coming from me, rest assured that I'm a lawyer, that I do not give illegal orders. You can be very sure that when I say do it and do it fast, do it, because that is what is utterly lacking in this country. Wala kong ano sa bureaucracy. They are bright, civil service eligible. Some of them have finished their PhD. But unfortunately, the six years term is not, not just enough, really enough. You have to move fast. And I could cite to you the Maranao siege. 
I needed uh, houses immediately and we had a corresponding funding. But had I left it to the bureaucracy, it's either uh, it's not being done until now or uh, without being offensive to anyone, sometimes the fundings are lost along the way. Uh, uh, it's, so it's, so it's always a Morphe's law. Anything, if anything can go wrong, it will go wrong. But my chances of uh, being followed uh, without corruption uh, gives me the odds of the low averages uh, in my favor if these guys are in. Uh, I'll just let you know that most of them, uh, I do not know them as, as a personal friends, but I know them as friends because almost all of them have been assigned to Mindanao for the many years that I was also the, vice, the mayor and vice mayor and congressman of our place. God willing, uh, if I finish my term, then I would have served my country for 40 years. I started as a public prosecutor. So, yan lang hango ang ano ko. Uh, we will, uh, and uh, let me, just to give Jagger also a chance, uh, I am ordering the freezing of all, all section department uh, units of the Bureau of Customs out. Uh, General Guerrero, you can have uh, the personnel of, uh, and I'm ordering the Coast Guard to provide the outer periphery, and you might want to uh, utilize uh, some departmental, uh, I don't know, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you and leave it uh, to your discretion. You know. Out lahat. To the last man, out. The commissioners are out, the, the department uh, heads out, the, the the entire, they are as of, you better go there tomorrow sa Isinako so that we can have the ceremonies right away. Uh, I'd like to order, where's my aid? Dilo. Pagawa mo na yung appointments nila so that we can have the ceremony tomorrow. Uh, at least there's the continuity of... Uh, but I think my my orders to you, Jagger, is uh, to, uh, ilagay mo yan sila sa opisina sila. They are on floating status. Or whatever. The outer periphery ganyan, will be taken care of by the Coast Guard. And uh, maybe you can have uh, and even you, you can utilize uh, military men, the excess dyan sa ulam trabaho, lalo na yung mga babae. Uh, you can suspend uh, two or three days for them to learn. Hindi naman mahirap yan pag, yung extra action yan. If you are corrupt, the no amount of x-rays that, that's there filled with above, you can never see it. But kung hindi ka corrupt, Makikita mo talaga kung anong oh, what's the Tagalog or Hulagway? God damn it. Ha? Huh? Tagalog ng Hulagway? Huh. Makita mo yung Hulagway is the view, the scenery. Um, unfortunately, my Tagalog is limited. Yun. See, the large, uh, the bigger picture of the whole thing. So you can have uh, order the suspension of uh, seed. Stop lahat yan. Then maybe uh, what, kung anong unit dyan sa military or navy who selected. Ay, madali lang man yung ano. And uh, if you think that uh, there's really a something uh, 
a way which they can do it. Baklasin mo lahat. And do not mind if there is a delay of one year in the cargo. Sabi ko, if anything can go wrong, it will go wrong. And so you have to... I leave it up to you. Trabaho mo yan eh. And so for the others, uh, I'm just warning you that uh, corruption is the thing that I am passionate about. Do not ask me why. But if you ask me why, I will tell you. I started as a prosecutor during Marcos's time. There was yet no ombudsman. So the prosecutors were limited to a few. I was one of those coming from Mindanao uh, who was designated as special Tanod Bayan prosecutor in addition to my being a regular prosecutor of Davao City Prosecution Office. And to me, I would consider the height of uh, if I were also to face a court, a graft uh, court facing charges. And I would not like that to happen to me or to you. And to you because you are imbued with love of country and the fact that we are here to help our people. So, kuntinto na tayo sa. We don't have the lifestyles of uh, the rich and famous. I mean, even if we have the money, it doesn't fit us. It doesn't look good. As a matter of fact, it's ugly. So let us be content with what we have and work for the benefit of the entire Filipino nation. Thank you.